All right, so back in the studio to... Hey, wait, what what are you doing here? Let's have some studio time. Oh, Jem is going to help me do some unboxings. I'm very happy about that. Welcome back. Why, thank you. I love a good unboxing. I can't believe it's not butter. I can believe it's not butter. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you showing your nails? They are, they are looking very lovely, you. you know. It's called Magenta Mischief. For oh, those ladies all right, let's just move right into this. <laughs> so, let's unbox something. So uh, we have some things to unbox. I'm holding a blade here dangerously close to your hand. But, you know, I'm going to adjust the blade here just so oh, it's a box opener. And so we got, I, I only named this video Unboxing. <gasps> all right, does you want to do the other side I'd love to do the other side, thank you. This Unbox. is a good unboxing length of a blade, by the way. Well, you don't want it to be too long and slice past the cardboard, right? Did you almost slice your finger open there? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Give uh, me back the sharp blade. Thank you. I only did half the job. There we are. So oh. this box actually comes from my friend Heath Meshkow. Uh, he actually runs Cow RC. You always oh. hear me and you've seen all these uh, cans, right? You, you've seen me use these cans. This here is the Moo Slick. It's an RC silicone protector, right? Yeah. When we want to uh, make sure our stuff is well lubricated, our bearings and all that, uh, this is something I've always used. So CowRC.com, you guys have heard me use it quite a bit. Not only do they have the lubrication. Oh, check this oh, out. Oh, they box. hooked us up. Holy cow. Oh, he, thank you, he, buddy. 10-4. Look at this. This is something that this is new. I love this product. <laughs> it, this it, company is awesome. Th this is new for me mm. uh, to see this in a syringe fashion. The utter butter. <laughs> I love it. Uh, super waterproof grease. So a lot okay. of people are into getting marine grease. We've been using marine grease for years. Well, he's actually got his own stuff here that awesome. I've Awesome. Yeah, I've been testing it out and using it as well for the last season. It's actually come in these little containers that right. they have seen before in the studio. So I actually clean up Medic shop all the time and I get yeah. all these little bottles and cans. And so this is very familiar to me. This it, will be really fun to put away. Yeah, well, it, it, well, and I'll be able to stick it into a tool case or yeah. a hanger yeah. like that. Uh, keep it easy access. So if you want to do bearings, if you Great. want to do your axle stubs, everything. If you're going in water, always use some sort of marine grease, keep right? Keep your finger clean. Yeah, exactly. So we got enough of that um we may even do a giveaway on facebook like we got a few of these hey so Dude, look at this st the stash it's awesome well yeah with, with the so i'll put a link to our facebook mm -hmm. uh the rc spark studio facebook uh in the video description box below and we'll end up giving away some of this stuff uh here is the moo clean which used to be called mooter cleaner uh this is something i use Moo to cleaner. quite a bit mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, electronic cleaner and degreaser so if you're getting a whole bunch of marine grease and all that stuff all over your gear and it's it's kind of oozing with the dirt and everything Ooh, oozing dirt oozing dirt well that's, that's what our hobby does that, you welcome know to that. the season that's oozing dirt season <laughs> brought to you by oozing uh, dirt yeah well actually brought to you by uh cow rc so they they actually hooked us up amazingly and well and you guys as you all know our motors get dirt dirty yeah. uh okay wait. so let's get these out of here oh wow there's more well, but wait, there's more. Yeah, there is more, and this is actually he made these for uh, a new one for our in-home uh, studio for the table, as well as for out at the studio shop. We've had these before, but <gasps> look at this, brand oh my new. Gosh, so pretty. Yeah, these are magnetic pit mats. Uh, we'll give some. Uh, give one of these away at least on mm -hmm. our forum uh, just so the, the members there have a giveaway or something like that. They can have their own magnetic pit mat. And if you see, you can now take out the <gasps> ones that you want. You cool. don't have to have them all out at once, right? So that's pretty handy dandy. Nice. Let's take out one of these huge pit mats. Cow RC, let's see what he sent along. Maintenance and care instructions. Okay. Awesome for your store, proper storage for your screw catcher work mat. I'll take that, I love instructions. Thank you very much. These are actually fairly heavy, right? So I'm gonna <laughs> lift one, two, did he send two? These are great. So one for the table and one for out at the shop. Look at that, two nice. sets. Wow, this is, yeah, well, these mats are wicked. What we'll do with these extra mats yeah. is set them around the shop so when people come over and they're using it, they have a place to work on their that's stuff That's very as nice. Well. I yeah. love the community spirit well, of that's fixing what the our RCs together. Is about, you know? Let's go fix some RCs together. <laughs> Heath, thanks a lot, brother. These Dude, mats are awesome. awesome. Let's get rid of the Duratrax one we have on this table right now yeah. and we'll replace it with Beautiful one of these. Beautiful white, thank you. Oh yeah, brand new. It's brand new. <laughs>
There you go. What do you think? I love this brand new mat from Cow RC. I know. It's Amazing, beautiful. hey? Uh, turns out as well, and they've been doing this for such a long time, that they can actually do your own branding. Nice. So, yeah, a lot of the big YouTubers that are into RC have their own pit mats. Uh, definitely fun, because if you have screws or things like that, you know what it's like to be putting down small pieces, having them roll mm -hmm. off the table, and then spend an hour or more looking for pieces. You know, I love these things. It's so much easier to clean up the shop. It is, actually. Yeah. You know, if you have something that's greasy, you can wipe it up and away you go now moving on moving on <laughs> moving on nice, nice. i like that <laughs> little plug for cow rc <laughs> All right, so uh, more information in the video description box down below. Shall we get on to the next box? I love Devil Box Day. Okay, so here we go. Bought this on eBay. Mm -hmm. oh, ooh, ah, ah. I'm going to even have to move the camera on this one because it's just that big. This side up, please. Yeah. And thank you. Very I, courteous I, sender. I love this. Mm -hmm. It also says fragile on it somewhere here. Mm -hmm. uh, this with is this my favorite part. Big hole on the side. <laughs> Handle uh, with care. Big hole in the side. Anyone wants to work for these companies and comment why that happens, that would be great. No, no. We've no. seen enough videos already just to know. Now, this is actually going to surprise you a little bit. Don't you love this popcorn, mm, hey? Popcorn. Great for packaging. Really terrible to clean up off the floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vicky, we grab the bag away? Absolutely. Now the bag and the box. Oh. That's perfect. Check it out. It's stunning. The color is shocking. Whoa! <laughs> now I know the peep. Now, shall we just do this quickly? Let's get all yeah. the popcorn off of it. Oh, I kind of like putting it into the back of the dump truck. Well, I guess Morris would do that. Yeah. Right? When in Rome? When in Rome? When in Rome? Does that apply here? I don't know, but I'm taking this painter's tape off. <laughs> and 20 minutes later, <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Who loves popcorn now? <laughs> Okay, so I see on here, it's almost like a custom Dean's plug. It was wow. a Traxxas plug, yeah, and he just basically twisted the end. That's okay. It's almost like everything in this rig needs to be upgraded, yeah. even though I bought it as a fortune. But there is a reason why. Okay. The wheelbase that he's been done, like that he has done with this, mm -hmm. the extension on the CCO1 chassis itself with the frame rails, the way he has it set up in the suspension as well, choice. Okay, cool. Do, does this truck look familiar to you at all? It does. It reminds me of some pretty good times. <laughs> This is actually the same version of truck that uh, I had when I first bought my Ford F-150. Same one. Uh, I had a red one to begin with. Now I have the beautiful blue one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when you see things like this and you want to have, for example, ah, an independent front suspension. Mm -hmm. so, oh, here, I'll just take this out. This isn't broken. I just undid the three I'll screws. Thank you, darling. I'll zoom it in here so people can see, just so in case people don't know what IFS is, independent front oh, wow. suspension. Cool. Yeah, it's just basically like the full scale truck. Now, yeah. he did put leaf springs in the back here. I'll back up the camera a little bit. May I? Uh, yeah, go ahead. We'll just turn, turn it around a little bit so the camera can see it right here. So leaf's in the back, right? Mm. Just like we have in our truck. Cool. And with the IFS on the front, look at the wheelbase. Look how long yeah. that is, hey? I don't want to take it on a bumpy highway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see. So a, a long extended cool. uh, shaft from Tamaya, I think it is. It looks like that. Definitely, mm -hmm. this is a well-loved vehicle. But once I switch it over to a good spectrum uh, radio, if that's what I choose to put into it this time, uh, I think it's actually going to be very Pretty choice. bomb. Yeah, choice to have out on the trail, especially for something unique and super scale and different. A good day. That's for the bottom. I love unboxing days. They're awesome. It's like yeah. Well, people, fun, people new have stuff. been asking to do unboxings, yeah. and we could go out and buy something off the shelf that everybody can get, which mm -hmm. is what we've done. For mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. It's cool stuff. Um, but when you really want to find and showcase some people's really unique work or get new ideas yourself, it's good to go outside of the box, yeah. literally. You buy know. your nostalgic vehicle, like your first car. Well, that's my first Ford. It was yeah. the red. It had the the appearance package on it. Is what they called call it still. Mm -hmm. I think. 
It came with a waterproof mm. Traxxas XL5 Necessary. ESC. Uh, well, all my trucks have to be waterproof. Yours too, hey? Oh, they're like Labrador Retrievers. Yeah. They'll always find always the water. Always go in the water. Cool. Well, there we go. So here's one new addition to the fleet. I'm looking forward to this because it's going to be a little bit outside my comfort zone on how to mm -hmm. drive something like this. And of course, people are going to be like, oh, it doesn't articulate very much. But the whole point for me of doing a super scale ride like this, we can deck it out with a bunch mm -hmm. of goodies and do like a rebuild underneath it there, but is just to see what a quote real yeah. small truck could do in these super huge jungles that we've been taking yes. into or rock crawling. But I love what he it's has great. done on the wheelbase. It's absolutely perfect to the builder on eBay. I give you a double thumbs up. Uh, so does Jem. So that's awesome. <laughs> Double thumbs up on cool. this, and this is now going to be one of my favorites. I know that for sure. So let's go out and have some fun with it. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not done yet. I know what. I, what? I'm not done yet. No, what? I called this video unboxing, not just for like an unboxing yeah. or two. Let's make it a, a tr like a, a, a hat trick. Let's make it a, <gasps> a hat trick, a plethora hat, and a, yeah. or a hat trick. Yeah, yes, I love well, it. They've been dying for new rigs. Oh. They're like, let's do new rigs. I wanted like, this. Is cool. Sorry, yeah, I wanted neat, to hey? gravel road. Is it, isn't it, does, that neat? it does remind me of a gravel road. So. It, it, if we could get some good mm. slow motion of it doing some, you know, body roll and the cool. whole deal. Yeah, like I'll put a good system in it and we'll make it look really good. But let's get Sorry, yes. to the final <gasps> unboxing. This one is extra, extra special. Yeah. Sure. Right. <laughs> Ta da! Number three! <laughs> <laughs> Just a nice cut it's shot. Like door number three. Well, to a brand new box. Yes. It is door number three. Mm -hmm. What surprise does it have? Now, again, this is something that I have just sliced open the top just to have a look at it. Um, I haven't and, seen it yet, though. And saw that there. No, she hasn't seen no, it other I'm than legit. the pictures. Saw that there was a special note in here for me, and I stopped right away. Hi, Aaron. I've placed a few photos. I love when people that are selling used products will go and take the time to actually tell you about the RC you're buying. The story. It makes it, well, every RC has, has a story. story, you know? And uh, so when they take the time to show us or, or, or to, you know, to let us know about the rig, awesome. That really helps. This is a really super duper build yeah. that was documented on RC Crawler. They actually have a video of this. When they were selling this product on eBay, they actually had a video of it running around. He's only run it two or three times. Oh this is a very unique, one of a kind pre runner. That's a 110 scale, I believe. I'm very excited about this. And uh, I know that our audience is going to enjoy this as well. This is why we have your pretty fingernails helping us today because it's going to be totally worth it. Now, here we go with pictures. <gasps> Okay. Oh my god. Look at this. That's gorgeous. It's ended up on RC Adventures. I had to give this a home, okay? Wow. It reminds me of a dress I like sorry, a beautiful gown and shoes I used it, to own. It is. It's very mm. sparkly, it's hey. Very sparkly. It's like a ball gown. <laughs> I've actually owned the dress like this and shoes. In no way is that a slight because no. it is beautiful. This is actually in his scale garage. You can see the door, the pictures Dude, over there. Awesome. It looks like a full scale. The body is held in place via the roll bar and two rear bed mounts. One is loose, but it still keeps it in place. I didn't want to have any body clips and everybody's dying to see it. I know oh all the hobbyists. God want to see what this fella has done and to have it on rc adventures it's is like putting truly... a shroud over the actual built like the actual thing it's, like, <laughs> it's kind of cruel what you're doing here dear i know people <laughs> pe but people want to know right they could have skipped forward if they you're right. wanted you know to see what it. you're right it's like a good okay. scary oh, scene here's, oh. here's the knife here Can you use some box I, I only opened it enough to see that that note was in it and i haven't seen it either here we go dun 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 dun, dun. introducing back to awesome <laughs> <laughs> How is this wrapped in bubble wrap? Awesome, because we know what's underneath. Once we got it out of the box itself, um, I knew we wanted to unwrap it for you guys because we haven't seen it either. Well, I love being, pretty ones. Being careful, we wanted mm -hmm. to try yeah. to pull. Hold it. Yeah, he did a wicked wrap job. You know, a lot of people. Oh, that's tight. Here we go. This is right. Yeah. A lot of people are nervous about buying from eBay. They've had, you know, different deals go bad, and so have I. I've had my ups and downs. But if you research and try to get a good product and you run into people like this, like, look at, he wrapped this. He cared about this truck, right? There we go. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, oh. Look at, look at. Oh, there it is. God. 
Hey, so neat, hey. Pretty. So I want to build a, a U4 track at our racetrack. And basically it's like a little racetrack um, for trucks like this. I know there are so many amazing things about this vehicle. I think you're going to be shocked. This is rad. Yeah, super rad. <laughs> I was really stoked when I saw it online and it came up for sale. Uh, it was on, again on the pricey side, but I think our viewers and of course the, the adventures that we're going to have with this truck uh, is, is going to be totally worth it because it's gorgeous, really hand done. This guy spent a Beautiful. ton of time it's on here. I'm speechless guys. I'm actually speechless and you can talk to Medicare. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, I'm not, I'm not either confirming or denying <laughs> that. <laughs> nice try. <Sorry. laughs> okay. Light bars controlled from the third channel on the radio. He did leave a fly sky, uh, receiver in here. I'll probably switch it over cause I don't have a fly sky, okay. uh, here with me, but now a could you just explain what a fly sky is just for, yeah, yeah. it's just a brand of radio. So okay. there is a receiver in here that goes with that brand of radio. So I probably have something that'll work with it, of course, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, most of my stuff runs on my Spectrum. Great. Anyway. So just for the anyone who's just tacking yeah. into your videos for the very first now, time, it's good to know. Let's go around the truck and have a good look at it. The front bumper itself, look at this huge skid plate. Skid Everybody could be asking me, hey, what is this? Is this like a crawler? It, it, it was made from a crawler, okay? okay? Again, the reason why I touched on the last truck and we opened it first was this has independent front suspension. Does it? Yeah, you can see here. So kind of on the stiff side, which is great. Uh, the springs, the independent front suspension is going to allow this. Look at this, these back yes, arms they're meaty. that he's done, okay? Yeah, these are pre-runner arms, <laughs> basically. We've been seeing <laughs> a lot of trucks come out with these arms on the back. Notice the king shocks that are on there, dun dun dun. So what are the benefits of these arms if you had to run it? The, the way the whole suspension moves, right? Mm -hmm. Like these lower links right here, see how the shocks are actually hooked into the link okay. instead of right onto the axle right. themselves. Okay. So just the way the suspension is mm -hmm. able to move at speed, right? So it's able to bounce back and forth. Now, I'm no pro in IFS or uh, kind of like pre-runner truck mm -hmm. suspensions, but that's the general gist of it, okay? So... Uh, he already left the battery in here. It's in storage mode. It's a 3S that he's left okay. in here. So this isn't like, oh my God, this is so super fast, but this is a truck to boot around on our other racetrack when we make some cool. little jumps. Yeah, exactly. Some good pep. Yeah, to look at the light bar he's got on here. So cool. Look at the... Look uh, at this. Exactly. Look at the detail on here, dude. Yep. That's... It's what we're talking about is the harnesses. No, yeah. and, and the d inside door panels and the... The door, you're right. There's mm -hmm. so much on this. Even the instrument cluster, the Ooh. shifter on this. He even has a glove box. I, he he doesn't know that... I, n none of these buyers knew that I was actually getting these vehicles and, until, you know, they just saw a generic name buying mm -hmm. this truck. So I hope that they're they're stoked that it's on RC Like you're Adventures. an anonymous buyer? Yeah, totally. That's super cool. <laughs> well, you know, that's why when we put it on the show, right, we always... Some sure. good stuff. We we try to get the best Absolutely. for our viewers. Look at this. The best. Look at the look at the amount of Dude. suspension travel on here. Right. Yes, the back lights, they're beautiful. It's a non-stop fun factory for the eyes. See, now you can cool. see the benefit of the arms as well with the suspension so high up front. The amount of travel and movement when this is jumping yeah. and going over. Yeah, right. exactly. Cool track. That'll yeah. be cool. Pre-runner, right? So it's let's see. How heavy that, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm going to no, have to say like five pounds, really light. Oh yeah. So what will you be racing in, in the, on that track? Oh, you're commandeering this one too. Well, I wouldn't hey? say I'm commandeering it, but I really, you don't look good in silver. Oh, <laughs> you know what? You guys want to ride this? I think all of the RCs are at the ranch to have fun with, right? I agree. This one looks wow. so cool. I want yeah, to take it out and play with it. I thought Morris is going to like the other one, but as soon as he sees this one, mine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> anyway, guys, okay. thank oh. you for tuning in today. Hopefully you've enjoyed unboxing the video. Not one, <laughs> not two, but three. Well, people have been asking yeah. for something special. And though we do, we try to do our very best. We can't always be do, un, uh, doing unboxing videos, but something special like this, we kind of bring it out. 
we want to showcase people that have amazing skills. Yeah, there amazing are a ton talent. of fabricators out there that are, are just showcasing such amazing works. And for us to be privileged enough to have some of them in the studio, you know, equal opportunity for us to buy it on eBay with everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a real treat. So look at that. We it's just, love the creativity. We were yeah. just talking earlier about the hobby itself yeah. and the creativity really keeps us That's coming back for more. Yep. That's where it's at. Awesome, guys. Guys, thanks a lot. Uh, let us know. Are, are you into scale trucks, like into trail trucks? Mm -hmm. Or are you into monster trucks? Or are you into short course trucks? Yeah, what are you if into? it's trucks, yes. let us know in the video comment section below. We want to know what you guys are running out there, like what you prefer, mm -hmm. uh, because we're out here having fun all the time. Yeah, we want to know what all you guys are doing out there so yeah. we can... Yeah, Do we're always showing off yeah. the stuff we have here. We want to see yeah. some of your stuff. Know what Let's you go got. Play. Uh, guys, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you want to follow along. Now that we have these trucks, how could you not subscribe? Exactly. You want, want to stay up to date. I want to take these things out. You're going to. I'm going to. I know. D Come just on. wait. Just wait until they see the new body for Pinky. <gasps> you guys are going to lose it because I got to tell you, when you sent me that picture, I almost <laughs> lost it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Get outside and have fun with RC. Bye.